Welcome back to Bully Catcher Gaming. Uh, this is Lee here, and we're doing another weapons test and review uh, from Ghost Recon Breakpoint. And uh, this time we're going to be doing the ACS 12 shotgun. Uh, we'll be doing, uh, we're at 15 metres at the moment, and then we'll go off to 25 metres and we'll see how effective the weapon is. Obviously, being a shotgun, it won't have a suppressor fitted. But what we'll do, we'll go to the loadout, we'll check out what the weapon looks like and some of its stats. Right, this is the stats page for the ACS-12 and also on the left hand side you can see accuracy, handling, range, mobility and recoil. Um, so accuracy, being a shotgun, it's not going to be that accurate unless you're extremely up close. Handling, it's almost halfway to on the line there so you know it's, it's probably not a bad weapon to have. Range, again, uh, it's a shotgun so its range is limited. Um, its mobility seems quite easy to handle and it's got uh, it's got quite high recoil as well again that's a shotgun um, but it's got an 80% uh, percent power damage uh, 300 rounds per minute out of a 20 round magazine it's a 12 gauge shotgun with a magazine change time of 3.15 seconds and you can have single shot or full auto that should be interesting obviously you can see uh, the bar at the bottom in the centre, it's not being upgraded, it's a Mark 1. I. I haven't touched it, so it is as is from the shop. I haven't used it yet, so this is the first time I'm using it. So on the right hand side, we can have a look and see what the magazine options are. Um, <laughs> I haven't unlocked the extended mag, so I'll have to go with the standard, but hey ho. Um, muzzles, standard muzzle, uh, built in iron sight. But you can have these, so you got yeah the built-in iron sight, the classic, uh, the Comp M4 sight, the EXPS3, um, the ACOG or TA31H. You can have the uh, is it the Leopold or Leupold? I'm quite hard to spell. I'll pronounce that. The RU uh, collimator, uh, RU red dot. So I think I'll go for. Ooh, what should I go for? What should I go? I'll go for the ACOG. Shall I see how we? Uh, so we fair and under barrel attachments uh, no grenade launchers on this one unfortunately but you can have a series of uh, foregrips let's go with the RU vertical foregrip shall we and uh, see how we get on with that and what we'll do then we'll uh, just have a quick look at what it looks like with a grip on it and a sight not sure I like it it just looks unusual to me um, a shotgun with a with a magnified sight on it, mm, not quite sure. But anyway, we'll, we'll see how it fares in the on the range. So let's uh, let's go and see what, how it gets on. Right, so as I said earlier, we're at 15 meters here, and then we'll go back to do uh, 25 meters. What we'll do is we'll do a single shot, and then get off as many rounds as we can on full auto, and see how accurate it is, and then we'll do 10 rounds well aimed, and then we'll go off and we'll do the same at 25 meters. Okay. So as we're fairly close, I'm not going to have the sight in. I probably won't need the sight in at 25 metres neither, to be fair. Okay, so... One shot. <laughs> okay, full auto. Let's see how we get on with full auto then. So we've got 19 rounds on full auto. This is going to see what the recoil is like as well. <laughs> Jesus. Oh... I'm not even going to bother putting up the drone to see how accurate that is. I think um, if you was a drone in front of that, you would get absolutely battered. You would be toast. Anyone stood in front of that, you're going to be toast. Uh, it'd be quite an interesting weapon to see go up against the Predator, actually, uh, from Wildlands. Anyway, right. Okay, so that's, uh, as you can see, one single shot, followed by full automatic. Uh, let's... Have a go at uh, single shot, 10 rounds. <laughs> I think at this distance, it doesn't really matter. It, you know, well aimed or not, you're going to hit whatever the hell you're shooting at. <laughs> I don't like the look of this weapon, but I do like the way it's... Uh, it's just going to destroy anything that comes within its path. Uh, 
One more. <coughs> I'm surprised it hasn't put a hole in this container, to be fair. Okay, let's change magazines. Right, so there you are. That, uh, that's at 15 metres. So you've got a hell of a lot of lead in a confined space at 15 metres. You're just going to destroy whatever's in your path. I think there's no odds in arguing whether that's accurate or not. Well, let's go off to 25 metres and see how it gets on. Right, okay, here we are. We're at 25 metres. Um, so let's see how we get on with. We'll do one aimed round and then full auto. So straight away, as you can see, the rounds are spread out slightly more than they were on the original uh, at 15 metres. So let's try full auto. Change the magazine. And again, let's just put the drone up, just have a closer look. As you can see, the, the shell is far, far more spread out over 25 metres. Obviously, it's got further to go, so the further it goes, the more spread out it becomes. Um, regardless, though, you're still going to hit something. You're still going to kill someone. You're still going to take out a drone. I'm going to have to try this out on a drone at some point. Uh, okay, so let's um, do 10 rounds. Well aimed. Same little bits. Kind of, kind of, sort of spoilt for space here. Really, I don't have much space. Right, oh really? Here we go. Okay, so there we go, there's 10 rounds. So let's have a look at it, all of it. I mean, as you can see back from there, really, it's going to make a very, very nasty mess of someone. Anyone gets in the way of that, they're, they're toast, regardless. So there we are. That is the uh, ACS-12 at 15 metres and then 25 metres, a single round of aimed, 10 rounds or as many rounds as full auto, plus 10 rounds sighting. It's, yeah, as I say, I didn't like it, to uh, the looks of it, I don't know, it just doesn't look right, but it is an awesome bit of kit for taking things out, so uh, I'm going to have to test it on a drone just to see how it gets on, um, but you do the test yourself, see how you get on with a, with, a, with a drone, taking out a drone, try it on a behemoth, see whether it can take out a behemoth, in fact I might do a test just on that, keep an eye out for that and other videos if you've got any suggestions comments drop us a comment in the comment section below thanks for subscribing thanks to our new subscribers we appreciate you thanks for watching stay safe out there and take care